So we're going to look at the water waste system now, <clears throat> and as ever, when it comes to this type of subject and subjects like equipment and furnishings, the Bombardier manuals are very scanty because the Bombardier manuals are based around a green aircraft. So very little information in the actual Bombardier manuals about the water waste system, other than the basic how it leaves the factory. Uh, you would need to look at your completion manuals and supplementary manuals to look at your specific configuration that you have on your particular aircraft. But generally speaking, and you know the statement is true for all aircraft as they leave the factory, the water waste system keeps and supplies potable water on the aircraft. It supplies it to the galley and to the um, and to the toilet. And we do have a recirculating toilet, so the system also collects waste material. So what we're going to cover is the potable water system, the waste disposal system in terms of the water, and the lavatory waste disposal. So the potable water supplies fresh drinking water to the galleys in the aircraft. Um, when you say galleys, there's actually only one galley. The servicing of the system is done with a fill control panel and the service test port and, and they're both on the right hand side fuselage fairing. And also remember actually, if you remember the cabin electronic system, um, we can also monitor and look at the water system in the cabin electronic system. You need to look at chapter, that's covered in chapter 25. The there is a heated drain mask, so any water coming out of the galley is drained overboard. It's through a heated drain mast, so it doesn't freeze. And that drain mast is heated with 115 volts AC and is, and is on um, basically as soon as you put power on. The disposal system includes a self-contained waste tank which is serviced through a waste removal door panel, that's the toilet system. Waste water from the galley and the vanity sinks and vents through heated drain masks and a heated, uh, heated drains and a heated drain mast and goes overboard. And the drain mast is positioned in such a way that the water is jettisoned clear of the aircraft. To fill the water tank, the you put the service vehicle and supply overflow lines are connected to the service connections, which is on the right hand side of the aeroplane and the rear wing to fuselage fairing area just behind it. And you'll see some indicators there that shows empty, half full, uh, a quarter, half, three quarters and full. And water will drain out of um, uh, the overflow mask when it's full up. So you can just fill it slowly until it overflows. So there are a series of lights on the on the panel there that uh, show the quantity of the of the water. The fill control panel is powered by 28 volts DC. And once again, if you remember back to the cabin electronic system, you can also see the contents of the water on that uh, flight attendance panel. And um, also, incidentally, on the Bombardier website, when you log in, you choose Ch uh, Challenger 604. There's a, you'll find some, it says quick reference cards. If you click on that link, it takes you to some quick reference cards that have been designed as like a trifold uh, kind of brochure. And they do one for refueling, I think, and one for water servicing. And it's just like a handy pocket guide for uh, filling the water and servicing the uh, toilet. And um, I think there's also one for refueling as well. To service a toilet, it's a pretty bog standard, excuse the pun, uh, connection for servicing the toilet. So what you have is a service panel, which is quite close to the water service panel, just below it and just forward a little bit. You open up the panel and you can see a purge connection or drain connection and a rinse and fill connection and a T-handle. So you connect the service cart up to the to the big um, empty in uh, connection. You turn the T handle clockwise, pull it out and turn it counterclockwise to lock it in position. 
Actually, I've got that the wrong way around. You put, you turn it clock, counterclockwise, pull it out and turn it clockwise to lock it in position. All the stuff drains out. You will, what you would then do actually is just rinse it through by um, connecting a uh, uh, the the chemical to the to the rinse port, and you just allow it to rinse through and sort of clean itself out. And then when you've finished, you you lock the handle back in position. So you turn it um, counterclockwise, push it in, and turn it clockwise to lock it in position. Um, and then you pre-charge the toilet with a certain amount of um, of the chemicals because that's going to be used as a flushing agent as well within the toilet because it's a it's a recirculating toilet it, the, the waste from the toilet is not stored in a separate tank um, it's a recirculating toilet and um, the hat you can't close the panel unless that T handles back in the uh, correct position actually and that's it for the waste um, water waste system very very simple uh, as I said, very scanty in terms of the bombarder information because of the green aircraft concept. Um, but there we have it, probably one of the easiest subjects in the course. To, um, unfortunately, you can't get your teeth into anything, but um, pretty straightforward. So we'll see you in the next section.